Hello, people. I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at Runway 34, the official trailer with Amitabh Bachchan, Ajay Devgan, and Rakul Preet. This comes out April 29th, 2022, so mark your calendars so you uh, don't miss out when the film drops. There's also a cameo by someone that we know. By Carrie Minotti. That is right. Yes. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. <laughs> oh my god. I got a funny feeling. I got a funny feeling. Yeah. This is also starring Boman Irani, who uh, we just watched in Dawn and Dawn 2. Well, you didn't, but I did. I watched him in Dawn and Dawn 2. We also watched him in Three Idiots. Yes, in many things. In many things. He's brilliant. That was also a good movie. Dad joke overpowered. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, please bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up so that YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. First frame. Love that. No smoking here. Oh. Fair point. Maybe you just want to put it in your mouth. Hi, Captain. It's an honor to fly with you today. Request for clearance. Oh, he's a rebel. Are you safe? Are you legal? Oh my god. Grace for impact. This man is not going to leave the people who are Look at me. I need you right now. Do you see that alcohol bottle? No, I didn't. I think it was alcohol. Oh my god. I really should not be watching this right now. Right. Delivery boy deliver. deliver he's not responsible. Against the rules. Our up the rules will follow her there. Pani Quesa Chero, Kimachia Cabraja. Up in a shop or some echo, Bahati, so it's so much good. In the one on Lord Kanayata. Excuse me. Kabios Chagamajana, Chantamari Soch Tom Sapele Poche. What does that mean? I have a photographic memory. What the hell happened? Aapke shabd, aapke action se mail nahi kare, aur aapke actions aapke shabdon ke saath mail nahi kare. Tum khud par yakin nahi karoge na, to dunya mein koi bhi tum par yakin nahi karega. Unhe bhi kuch nahi dikhai de raha tha. But how could this be possible? Because unki aankhe bhi. What? What? Where were his eyes? What were his eyes doing? My uncle, aviation minister. She really trusted you, you bastard. It's a trap. Uh, this time, who was when I love my job. And I hate it. There are two What happened? And how happened? What 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 happened? लेकिन गलतियों को ना मानना आपका कैरेक्टर दर्शाता है। Wow. I would not want Amitabh Bachchan to be saying that stuff to me. I'd be like, oh, the emotional damage yeah. you just dealt, my man. Emotional damage. Oh my god. Did you watch Flight? I did. Yeah. Okay. So. One thing I didn't like about Flight was that it spent a great deal of time on his downward spiral into alcoholism, like over and over and over again. We saw so many shots of Denzel just drinking yeah. and being an addict, essentially. And it's like, wow, this is a lot. I mean, I'm sure 
for a lot of people, they they watched it and they're like, oh, it's a really good movie. But for me, it was just like depressing. And I could see the ending coming a mile away, uh, which is ultimately his court trial to prove his innocence, to prove that he wasn't drinking on the job. And then he confesses at the last minute because yeah. he he's overwhelmed with all the guilt. Yeah. And I just kissed my... Uh, <laughs> about my pop filter wow. but uh, <laughs> <wow>. <laughs> but uh, with this it feels like there's a greater emphasis on the, the aspect of the legal proceedings and the trial and whatnot while that was there in flight it feels like it's even more emphasized here and it's more I guess dramatized it's interesting because I guess going into it I was expecting more of the vibe of like flight or Sully where it just feels like a straight drama you know whereas this I was like Holy crap! It's like, it's like a thriller. Yeah. There's this whole aspect of I don't even know what's going on. At one point, I thought, oh, is he like smuggling some illegal stuff on the plane? Oh, I don't I don't think that's an aspect of it. There's just exploring different avenues of what it means to to be a pilot. To be a pilot, yeah. Right. And they have these interesting different visuals that they that they use there. Like we saw a clip of Sully the other day where Tom Hanks is looking out the way. I never saw Sully. I just saw like a clip. Uh -huh. where he's looking out the window from his hotel and he sees a plane going into the city or something like that. Yeah. I think it's all in his head. And so we're having similar things here throughout the movie of, I guess, trauma of reliving that event, right? And there's some indication here that perhaps he was intoxicated, just mm -hmm. like Denzel Washington's uh, character was in flight. If there's anything, anything I learned from Anthony Bourdain, is that there are professions out there where these guys are rock stars and you just have no idea. And I think an airline pilot is one of those professions. You know, in Anthony Bourdain's case, it was... Um Chefs. Kitchen chefs, yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, chefs are yeah, rock stars. They're basically rock stars. Yeah. And so I think pilots are also rock stars like, because these guys are are way more than qualified for their job, you know, often coming from a background that is way more complicated than this, right? Right. He even says here, isn't he like a former military guy? Well, Captain Vikrant Khanna, you don't get the name captain for nothing, right? Or is it just because... Well, it's just because you're piloting a plane, you get to be a captain. You're a captain. All right. Every time, every time you go on a flight, they're always like, hello, I am the captain of your flight. All right. Right. Fair enough, fair yes. enough, fair enough. Vikrant Khanna, like you could see his lifestyle. I mean, yeah, they, I mean, they showed you a glimpse of it. It's it's crazy because this whole aviation thing, like airlines and pilots and stewardesses, actually, it's super fascinating. There have been books and shows kind of delving into what you don't see, you know? Because basically these guys, they fly out on trips, they get to go to exciting destinations, hotels, whatever, paid for. And there's like a whole kind of lifestyle. Subculture. And, and yeah, and pilots dating stewardesses. It's like rock and roll. It's sexy. It's all this stuff that like, you don't know when you're on the other side as a passenger. I mean, I don't know how much of that they're going to delve into it there, but certainly it looks like he was partying a lot. It certainly, it certainly looked like he was courting uh, one of the ladies in there. Ladies, yeah. yeah. You know, like, like this stuff happens. I just thought that the way they presented the story was really interesting. It was just unexpected to me. The drama, not kind of like the more quiet, grounded drama that I was expecting. It was just like, oh my gosh, there's these scenes where people are floating in the air on the on the plane and it's starting to look like an action movie and it's just so exciting you know what I mean well the floating in the air I mean it, it, it's probably like a dream sequence no something. it's it's a slow mode moment of when the plane is going through turbulence no I, so, like, I get it yeah mid-air they're like oh you know? I know, it's just it's just that this isn't the way that I expected it to be portrayed sure. because of what I have seen in the past with similar types of, like, based on real life stories. You right. know what I mean? Well, it's flight Daisy style. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're going all the way. Yeah. But it was, like, very thrilling. I'm very curious. The thing about it is, even right from the get-go, I, now I understand why they picked a Jay Devgan for this movie. I mean, he's directing it, right? But I understand why he is the right role, right person for this film because in his own right, he is basically a rock star, even yeah. though he's not known for that. That's the persona he sort of puts out there, is this guy who's just super too cool for school kind of thing, right? Yeah. Right from the get-go, he's looking at the mirror, he's got the glasses with the cigarette, and, you know, I don't break the rules, and whatever, whatever. Yeah. So that guy being taken to task 
over a mistake. That's actually interesting. And I'm also very interested in the chemistry between Amitabh Bachchan and Ajay Devgan, right? Because, you know, they're two powerhouses going up against each other. Amitabh Bachchan in lawyer roles is actually very intimidating. I mean, he, he has a presence anyway, but yeah. like that scene where he's questioning Ajay Devgan's character, I'm kind of like, yeah. Who boy, you know, yeah. he seems all nice, like your kind uncle, and he just kind of like gets yeah. right in there. I've always wanted to see him play a lawyer. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon, please, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. That's it for now. I'm Jabby Kawe. This is Achara Cook. Peace out.